So this is the smaller suspension bridge that you can build uh, for 15, 20 bucks. Okay, Matteo, tell us how, how the suspension bridge works. So, same thing as the other bridge. It's just the main deck, which you could put weights on if you wanted to. So that's a 1x6, about 3 feet long. Okay. Yep. And uh, underneath, what's attached underneath? Underneath the main deck, we have a bunch of these pieces of, it could be scrap wood if you need to. Cross beams. Okay. Cross beams, yep. Two holes drilled in. And what, what's, what's the holes for? Those holes, we will slip in these J bolts, which are right here. I, I have see. one on me. Okay, put, now put it through the, that piece of wood, that yep. cross beam. To attach the J bolts, which is the thing I just showed you, slip it through the hole. Okay. Take a washer, which is this flat piece of metal. Good. And then take a nut. And then just screw it on. Okay. And then turn it right side up so, so it looks like yep. it comes down here. Same thing. So, good. So, now the those cross beams are attached underneath the, um, the main, the deck, just with a couple of screws. Yep, I'm sure you can see them right here. Okay, we can screw from the top or through the bottom. Okay, so the, the deck is that piece of one by six. Let's put a couple of clamps on for a live load. Sure thing. And live load is just kind of temporary weight. So on a real bridge, it'd be people, cars, trucks, anything like that. Okay, and a dead load is what? The dead load is like the main deck itself, anything that's permanently attached. Like the, the deck, the asphalt, the handrails, things exactly. like that. Exactly. Okay, so what's holding up the, the deck? The deck's held up by these six suspenders. Let me close in there. Okay, so the suspenders hooks on top of the J-bolt. Yep. And then how does it attach to the main cable? It attaches with these cable clamps, which conveniently have one right here. Hold on, let me get a close-up of that. Good, take it apart. Yep. It's comprised of a U-bolt, which looks like a U. Okay, well, here. Put it, put it on the deck first so we can all see it. Yep. Don't worry about that nut. Okay. So there's the U-bolt, the saddle, and two nuts. Very simple. So we, we take... Go ahead. Yep. So on the main cable, uh, the cable clamp goes between, um, clamps together the main cable, that's the red and white line, with the suspender, which is another line. And when you tighten up the nuts, you clamp both of those together. Yep, very easy. Now the other, um, find that screwdriver. Right here. Now the other thing is, I'm looking at the, the two suspenders right, right over there. And it looks like that one is not lined up with the other one. Right here. They're not so, lined up. So what are you going to do? So I take this screwdriver. Now that's a special screwdriver. I call it the 4-in-1. Because uh, you can put, no, come down here. Because you can put different uh, tips in there. Phillips or slotted. But I use it because it's, it's the perfect size to tighten and loosen those, those nuts. Wait, let me... Good. So if you loosen those nuts... Then you can slide the whole thing left or right. There you go. Perfect. Now, b before you tighten it up, you could also pull on the on the loose end, um, the loose end of that string, to uh, oh, yeah. pull it down. Pull it down. Yeah. Now hold, hold the cam cable clamp so it doesn't move. But pull on the on the string. That's it. You see, it goes up and down. You pull the deck up or down. So you can adjust the length of those suspenders. Then when you get it where you want, tighten up those two nuts. Make sure it's tight. All right, all good. Now to get all those six suspenders tight and lined up perfect, it's gonna take a while. The other way to adjust it is 
with those U, those uh, J bolts. There's that. You still have that J bolt? Yeah. Yep, I do. Oh. No, no, there it is. No, no. That's right. Okay, so yeah, let's see that. I flip it up upside down so I can see the nut. Right. So when you tighten up the nut, that'll also change the, the distance between the deck and the main cable. Good. So the suspenders hold up the deck. The main cable holds up, holds up the suspenders. And what about the main cable now? So we have two main cables, and they both run up and over a tower. And this tower can be anything from a chair to your sibling. Not really. Don't use your siblings as a tower. Well, OK. And then after it goes <laughs> over the tower, where does it go? So for this side, it goes straight down into an anchorage. And this could be like a table. You could have your sibling stand on it. Yeah, so if you could attach the main cable See, I've got a couple of screw eyes going into a piece of wood. If you can do that, then you can have your little brother or sister stand on that piece of plywood, unless you have some steel and bricks to do the job. That helps. Okay, now, on the, the other side, here's another option. Let's say you can't find some way to attach the anchorage. What we did is we took the two main cables, put them around the tower, a few times, and then took this third line, put it around the tower, and attached it into, it could be a table, same thing. You could tie it around a table, a door. If you, if you got a big brother? Yep, have someone hold it. There you go. And you could add weight to the tower to make sure it doesn't slip or slide. Right. Now, on, on our tower, we used a, a, a pipe to cut down on the friction. Right here. Although it doesn't over here, it's over here where we want it to cut down on the friction. Very easy to slide over. There you go. Okay. So this whole thing is fifteen twenty bucks. The uh, the main the deck is a one by six three feet long, or anything close to that. The cross beam, the three cross beams. Let's see that one again. Ten twelve inches long. Whatever you got. Anything works as long as it's. As long as it's longer than the... Wider, yes. Yeah, wider than the... The main deck. deck. Drill two quarter-inch holes in it for the J-bolts. Uh, six J-bolts will cost you six, seven bucks. The cable clamps, also about a buck a piece. Some three-sixteenths rope. Mm, let's say uh, 20 feet of that. And then your uh, chairs or, or brothers and sisters or whatever you got. Anything works, as long as it's stable. Yep. So with, uh, if we had a heavier anchorage, we could probably put 100 pounds on the deck here. The main cables are strong enough. The six suspenders are strong enough. The weak spot, really, is the anchorage. Yep. If we put just another 10 pounds on the, on the deck, that whole anchorage would slide. In fact, it might... Yeah, let, uh, keep, go ahead. Might start sliding once right. we add these. Keep going. Yep, go. it moves a little bit. Okay. And that's with all this weight. We don't even have all too much weight on the anchorage and it's able right. to hold all this up. Now what determines how much pull is on the anchorage? Besides, in addition to the actual weight on the, on the bridge, what else, what other factors are there? Well, there's the angle of the main cable on this side. Yes. So if it were to be much more up and down, that'd yeah. be sort of easier to pull up than from the side. Okay, well that, that's vectors and we'll go into that's that. That's something else. We'll go into that in another video. Okay, very good.